Hi, I'm Dan Palomino with KW Big Island and the Hawaii team. Well, you know, I usually say to everybody that every day here in Hawaii is 82 and sunny. Well, just to let you know that it's not that way every single day. And yes, we do have rainy days occasionally. You can kind of see the, the clouds behind me. And so it's kind of a cool, cloudy day. But to be honest with you, you know, when it's sunny and warm all the time, you appreciate these, uh, these nice, cool, cloudy days. And if there's a light rain, Man, nothing like a good nap in the middle of that. All right, today I am talking about a topic I am absolutely passionate about. All right, so I want you to really pay attention to this because I did a three or a four part series on this. It's on this YouTube channel. It's called Short Term Vacation Rentals, talking about how you can succeed at short term vacation rentals, all the do's and don'ts, everything you need to know. But here's what we're running into lately that I really need to make sure you guys understand. People come from the mainland, we meet them all the time, they're investors, they've had real estate investments before and they think that the experience that they had over in the mainland with their real estate investment properties is going to translate or be the same here. And it is not. And so what I'm here to tell you today is you can absolutely uh, buy an investment property here and offset your expenses with short-term or long-term rentals. But just understand this one point, all right? Don't expect it to cash flow. I know you're saying, well, why? Why can't it cash flow? I've got properties all over the place that are cash flow. Don't expect it to cash flow. That is not the play here in Hawaii. There's two plays in real estate investing. The first play is cash flow, and the second play is long term appreciation. Hawaii is a long term appreciation state. And in fact, if you hang in there three, five, 10 years, you're going to do really, really well. Sometimes you don't even have to hang in there three years. But the investment play here is long term appreciation. We'll take people out from the mainland, they'll say, hey, I'd like to buy a place that I could come visit. And when I'm not here, I want a short-term vacation rental it to offset my costs. And so we show them some places and they love them. And what's not to love about here, right? They love them. They say, this is great. Hey, can you get us the rental numbers on this particular unit? We'd like to see how it's doing financially. And we get the rental numbers and they start going over them and they go, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna crunch these numbers. We're gonna put a pencil to this and we're gonna get back to you about whether or not we're gonna make an offer. And so they put the pencil down and they crunch the numbers, so to speak, and they come back and they say, you know, geez, we, we thought that we would be doing better on a monthly basis with this. Like this might break even or it might cover our expenses. And I said, yes, I know that's true. I've, I've been telling you that it, it's, it, it might break even, but that's not why you're buying it. You're buying it because you want to live the Hawaiian lifestyle. You want to live and enjoy a place and a property that very few people ever get a chance to do. And you know what? And at the end of that, when you're done with that, you're going to sell it for a tremendous reward. Now, I can't guarantee uh, appreciation rates, but I can tell you this. I mean, if you just, and anybody can do this, this is not like secretive data, right? Go into Google and type in average home appreciation in Hawaii. And it'll give you all kinds of statistics like this. Like in the last 10 years, the average appreciation rate in Hawaii was 7%. But let me give you something better than that. Over the last 35 years, over the last 35 years, the Hawaiian islands appreciated around 6% year over year over year. There was only once, only once did these islands lose home value. And that was during the 2008 and 2009 crash. But so did everybody across the country. Everybody lost home value uh, in, in 2008, 2009. But historically, if you're looking to park some money and have that appreciate and have that do well, then do it here in Hawaii. And the appreciation can be 6% year over year, or it could be as much as 36%, which is what we saw in 21 and 22. Now, again, no guaranteed on those appreciation rates, but here's an anecdotal story, okay? We had a client that purchased a condo uh, for about $3 million in the resorts and beautiful condo, amazing place. And he closed on it in January of 22. And then in um, 
May of 22, a similar condo, exact same condo, same floor plan, same complex, just different building, sold for 3.8. So in five short months, the appreciation on this place went up $800,000. Now, fast forward to present day today. Well, today there's two similar condos. Again, same complex, same condo, same floor plan, just different building on the market for over 4.1 million, almost 4.2 million. Now let's just assume that one of those condos sells relatively soon, and let's say it sells for no less than $4 million. Then we've got a new comp, right? We've got a comp at 4 million bucks. But it's safe to say that my client who closed in January of 22 has no less than $800,000 in equity and probably closer to a million dollars in equity. Can you imagine million dollars in equity in 14 months? Now, again, we can't guarantee you that type of appreciation everywhere, but let's just do simple math. Let's just say that you uh, bought a small condo in Waikoloa Beach for a million dollars. It's pretty safe to say, based on the historical averages, that a year from now, it's gonna be worth 60,000 more, right? Where are you going to get that type of appreciation, I guess is my question. I mean, yes, there's some spots in the country that have similar appreciation to Hawaii, Miami comes to mind. Uh, Boise, Idaho had like a 55% appreciation rate in the last couple of years. Um, you know, parts of Arizona, parts of California, sure. You're, but, but the places that have that kind of appreciation rate where you can make, like you can have, create wealth through long-term appreciation, the places that you can do that, there's just a handful. Um, and Hawaii is one of them. All right, so I've gone on long enough here, uh, but I just, I need you to take away this, th this, this key message here. You're not coming to Hawaii to invest uh, for cash flow. You are coming to Hawaii to uh, invest for a long-term appreciation play. And I know people have said to me, well, Dan, I've, I've looked at the numbers, I've crunched the numbers, it's not just about cash flow. I can take that kind of money and I can go invest it in the S&P 500 and I can do better. Well, I bet you can, but I can tell you, you can't go to one of the most amazing beaches in the world at the S&P 500. I can tell you that you cannot have an amazing sunset dinner on the water at the S&P 500, and I can tell you that you're not going to make incredible memories with your families and friends for years to come at the S&P 500, okay? You're buying a lifestyle that very few people have. All right, if you have any questions and you wanna buy, sell, or invest in real estate, contact us here at the Hawaii team. 808-913-0899, 808-913-0899, or thehawaiiteam.com. Aloha.